Now that the world has had a little bit of time to absorb the success of the North Korean rocket launch launching a satellite into space, uh, the disinformation by the South Korean government can now begin. The government of South Korea is claiming that DPRK now has missiles capable of reaching the United States. They say they have an estimated range of 10,000 kilometers. Now recently the DPRK did launch a satellite into space and a satellite into space on a rocket and it was claimed it was a missile test which makes no sense. Now interestingly all of a sudden overnight North Korea now supposedly has missiles capable of reaching the United States. Of course they are basing this off of an analysis of the, the parts of the rocket that broke off during the, the three-stage flight into space landed in the ocean. South Korea has collected those pieces and now based this estimation of 10,000 kilometers which they're saying, they're saying it's 10,000 kilometers based on their analysis of the material that has actually been left behind. Now reportedly Pyongyang spent about $480 million getting this uh, rocket in this rocket launch. Uh, since 1998, North Korea has made four unsuccessful attempts to actually get a satellite into space. As a result of analyzing the material of the Unha 3, we judge that North Korea had secured a range of more than 10,000 kilometers in in the case that the warhead is 500 to 600 kilograms. Now despite their claim of a sudden advancement in missile technology, South Korea then turned around to talk about how poorly constructed the rocket actually was. The official said the type of oxidizer container that was found from the first stage of the rocket launch would rarely be used by countries with advanced space technology. They said the welding on the rocket was crude and that it had been clearly been done by hand and not done by machine. South Korea said Sunday that it had retrieved the key parts of the rocket's first stage, except for the engine. The parts recovered included the fuel tank which displayed the digit 3, a chemical combustion chamber and an engine connection rod, officials reported. Now South Korean officials are saying that they can't be 100% sure about everything the rocket may be capable of until they collect all the pieces. Yet somehow they're absolutely certain that it can go 10,000 kilometers and reach the United States with a warhead that is five to 600 kilograms. It just kind of seems contradictory to me. Oh, it's this really, really old technology that nobody uses and it's worthless. They're the greatest threat to the world ever. I mean, which is it? Is it like this like really, really crappy made rocket that's no good? Or is it like this huge advanced thing that's going to bomb the United States? I mean, this just, this just, this reeks of pure fear, fear mongering based on nothing. But remember, it's the United States that they said. It's not like, oh, they can hit us. Oh, they can hit Japan. It's, they can hit the United States. Because that's the one, that's the population they want to scare into supporting them. I mean, it's just, it just seems so, like, ridiculously contradictory here. It's like this really crappily made rocket that can't do anything, yet it can reach all the way to the other side of the world. Well, I mean, which is it? I mean, it just seems like a, like a mixed message that's being sent. The rocket very well could make it all the way, and even then, if it was so shoddy, it would be detected long, long before it ever got there and would be stopped. But I mean, that's assuming that they even want to do something like that, and that's assuming if this is even possible, their own scientists say we can't be sure until then, but they're sure a missile could go 10,000 kilometers. Like just completely contradictory statements from their own people. And it just shows that they're really stretching here to try to, to, try to twist this uh, technological success by the DPRK as being some kind of horrible threat to the entire world. Because after all, South Korea, even with the aid of the United States, has quite categorically failed to get a rocket into space.